Donahoe. Donahoe being guarded by Cole, drives in, takes the ball to the hole and scores. Yeah, probably could have got the end one. She'll give it to Bias, cutting straight down four with the ball in high transition. Now to Keller, top of the key, three-pointer good. How about that? Secondly, they take the highest percentage best bucket on the floor. That's, that's how good they are. Donahoe drives to the hole after the feed. She'll take it up and in. Settles out front, goes left side, Donahoe, no look pass to Keller. She'll kick it out, settles down on the right block, gets just enough on it, gets the shooter's roll, and puts the Cowgirls on top. Bias will run the half court. Works it right side to Donahoe on the wing. Liz drives in, sees a hold of the lane, takes it all the way up, got the floater up and good. Trailing though by one, 45% shooting night so far. Here's Tony Young, turn around, jumper, around the rim, and in. Can't stop that. Bias, crossover, pass off the dish to Donahoe, the jumper good from 60. Cowgirls on a run right now. Finally getting it going again offensively. Well, Lindsey Keller out, and that's what you have. What happens right there is you get that point kind of play. Nice move up the right baseline by the sophomore, Tiffany Bott. Donahoe out front with the basketball, drives into the lane. Dish off Young with a nice floater from four off the block. It's good. Settles with the basketball, right side bias. Now finally find Donahoe. She's guarded by Mansfield, now backs up, shoots over Mansfield. It goes around the cylinder twice and in. Donahoe, spin move, drives in, kicks the ball out, settles wide open, three-pointer, left corner hit it. That's because Liz Donahoe works so hard. Settles now to Donahoe, left side on the wing. Indeed, they did. Schultz looks in, goes strong to Keller. Her defender falls down as she has the easy two, and Poppins is down on the floor, and he's crunched over in a fetal position. Out to Keller, she'll shoot the three, no, off to the left. A put back up and in, and a foul by Liz Donahoe. How about that, and that gets the crowd back. Rebound by Bias. Keller has done a tremendous job on her. Tiffy pulls up at the free throw line, stops and pops as she tickles the bottom of the net. Cyclones have stretched the four, four point halftime lead to seven now, 45 to 38. Suttles left open. She puts up the three, and it's good. She's going to make Poppins come out and take it. Now she is going to have the rebound the hard way. She'll take it coast to coast, lays it up and in. A big basket for Oklahoma State. Not a lot of post physical contact for this team has changed. Donahoe left baseline goes up for the three. It's good. Cowgirls lead by one. Well, she did a little scissor leg. Don't know where that came from. Bias after Crutchfield. Crutchfield already with a three-pointer this season. She'll drop it into Keller. Keller goes up strong, shoots and scores. Poppins couldn't stay with it. Tony Young now has pulled down nine rebounds on the night. Lindsey Keller, tremendous defense. Another rebound by Young. Bias up four through the lane. The crossover dribble broke all the ankle. 10, 12 to go. Here we go. Donahoe with the basketball. Drives in. Dishes off. Left side down low. Keller strong to the hole and scores. I just... Glad to see somebody else feeling the pressure. Inbound play, Donahoe off the block, off the glass with a kiss and score. Keller out front, top of the key, hand off to Bias. Bias squares up just beyond the free throw line, gets the roll and score. Donahoe basketball left side, throws off the screen, drives into the lane, puts up the floater, yes. Said you gotta be stronger, that was strong. Bias with the ball off the screen behind Keller, backs up. Nine seconds to shoot, here's Donahoe, 12 footer, got it. Six point advantage, that's starting to put a lot of pressure right now on this Iowa State team.